Welcome to Wayne's Tinkering page again. This week I'm going to show a simple library I wrote that lets you connect push button switches to an Arduino. In this case, each push button, each push button is connected to ground on one side and to an Arduino input pin on the other. Uh, this is a, probably the simplest way to connect a push button. Not the most efficient. If you need more push buttons, you probably need to use something like a matrix of keys and code that will scan the matrix by row and column. This is intended for simple cases where you just need you know, a few push buttons or perhaps something like a, um, a joystick, which has basically five switches, one for each direction and one for press. This can be used to make very simple interfaces. So the library is quite straightforward. Um, you simply have to include the keylib2.h. Then you declare the const in the constructor, you declare the number of pins you're going to be defining, which is the first parameter, and then the following parameters specify the actual Arduino pin. This can be either a data pin, 1 through 13, I think, they typically are, or one of the analog pins, A0 through A4 or A5, I think it is. Um, then you simply just call method key available, which returns true whenever there's a key pressed. If there is a key pressed, you call get key index which returns a value from 0 through n, where n is the is one more than the number of pins defined. So, for example, if the button connected to pin 2 was pressed, the key index would get, give you back a value of 0. If you actually want to find out which pin uh, was, in a sense, pressed, you can call the method get key pin and pass it the index value, and that will give, give back the actual pin number. In this case, if you pass it at 0, you get back the value of 2. So go ahead and demonstrate it here. I've got the Arduino monitor open over here. So if I press if I press the first button, I'm going to get a key response. It says I pressed um, index 0 key connected to pin 2, index 1 connected to pin 3, and index 2 connected to pin 4. You can also press the buttons quite rapidly. Or I can press one button and then cord over to another and it'll properly detect each key even while the other button is held down. That's useful in some situations. That's essentially it. I um, hope you find this useful.